Okay. Hey, everybody. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. Uh, you know, I used to do like every Friday because I, once it's, I, I painted so much that I hated cleaning them when I used silicone because it was just, I had so many paintings and it just doubles the time, you know, I'm glossing them. So I stopped using the silicone, but I used to keep doing it like every Friday and I called it Coconut Friday because I used the coconut hair serum. Well, I feel like doing some silicone, but I'm not going to use the coconut. I'm going to use the treadmill. Uh, spot on treadmill belt. Anyway, so I have some colors here. The only one I can't remember is what brand that came in blue. If you guys can remember, was this, I think it was the Target Mad Main Handmade. Was it called Handmade Modern? I don't have the bottle anymore because this was like a leftover, but it came in blue. Then this is Arteza Cobalt Blue. Uh, yeah, this is Arteza Cobalt Blue. And then I have Quinacridone Magenta here. And... I don't know. This could have been a violet lavender. Oh, this was eggplant. Come to think of it, Anita's brand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because I like using panel boards, because then you can always frame them. And every once in a while, I get a good one, and I'll frame it. So this is the Arteza panels I use, 9 by 12. That's what I'm going to be using. Okay. So I'll put my gloves on and we'll get started with some fun. Just to have some fun, you know. Anyway, I've been still growing my nails. I redid my colors to sort of like a plum. Put some flowers right in the middle. <laughs> so I do, when I get it going with growing my nails, they're growing really good. Look at that. I'm starting to get tips. <laughs> and... I have some pretty, I like to decorate nails. I will show you real quickly if I still have them on my phone. Let me check. That's how long they got. Well, even longer, actually. Yeah, probably kind of hard to see. That was kind of the longest. And this was like a silver chrome. And yeah, I use the heat lamp these are not just regular nail polish these are you know gel with the uv lamp where they don't chip off right away the paint but yeah this is like a chrome where you buff on mica powder it's really cool this was fun i have to do this again when they get long then i just do like the marble water marbling <laughs> here's the other hand Really hard to see. Sorry. Here's the thumb. <laughs> That's just putting nail polish in there. That was like a pinky with glitter. Then some type of blue. Then I put little flowers on there. Decals though. And that's it. Oh yeah. Black with white flowers. Those were so pretty too. Love those. I have to do that again too. I oh, have yeah, the dotting. That was always fun. So that's it. <laughs> I just thought I'd show you. That is another thing I get into big time. <laughs> Well, let's get started here after I just showed off my nails. So, yeah, I'm excited because I'm growing them again. All right, so let's see. 8 by 8, 8 by 10 usually takes about 3 ounces. This is a 5 ounce comp. 9 by 12, we're looking at 4 to 5 ounces. So, I'm going to fill that baby up. <laughs> okay. 
And these paints have no silicone in them yet. They are just with two parts floral, one part paint, and a little water. And I'm using white also, Artist Law Flow. But there's no, uh, no silicone in the white. One little tiny drop. I'm not even squeezing it. I'm letting it come out on its own. They're really tiny. Don't want a whole lot. And I'm just going to stir it in like that. That's it. A circle. Sorry if my camera's going in and out. I don't see what we can get here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So yeah, once I started to be able to get my paints at the same consistency to get my own cells, I didn't mind if I had a lot of cells in my paintings because it was worth not cleaning them all. And I do like a little cells, you know. But when you use the silicone all the time, and you just like every single painting is nothing but cells, it sometimes can become like monotonous and you get tired. You want to see some natural paint flow together, you know. So let's hope I have enough paint on here. Okay, because I didn't really even go up to five. And I may have to spread the sides with some white, and I may end up doing that. We'll see. This should be pretty. And it's looking awesome. Cool. So see, it's exciting to have a painting like this once in a while. To me it is. Everybody has their own taste. I don't know what you guys see, but I think it's pretty. So far. So far, so good. some cool lacing but that's all gonna change now yeah to play it safe I'm gonna run some color around the edges I always try to start with the side I like best so I can stretch it back over. Because you never know that lacing may not go off the end right there. Then again, it might. <laughs> so center it to the middle. There. I don't think I have to hold it now. Where to go? It disappeared. Oh, there it is. What a bummer. Oh, well. I like that blue. So I'm getting some silicone resist right here. That's one with you.
pretty. I like it. It's neat. So that's cool. Wow, what a trip. Actually, let me test it with the torch. That's pretty cool. I like the veins in there. Yeah, I don't want it specking up. I'm going to do it naturally because the oil will float and these cells will surface on their own. I like the bigness of them. I'm glad that it turned out this way. Hold mm -hmm. on. So, yeah, it filled in all this white here. You know, I don't always save my panel boards for frames, but this one is going to get framed. There's no doubt about it. And you know why I like it? Because it's not all cells. It's got some character in there, some plain colors, not just all blue. You know what I'm saying? I always do the blue. But I like it this way. It is super cool. It's not going to be all in frame. See, so yeah, I look at the overall picture sideways. Unfortunately, but let's check it out. So it's even got a little freckling. Almost started in there. There's some pretty cool cells. A little bit of dendrite look. Which is awesome. And that's because of the white. I'm glad that quinacridone showed up too. I really like this one. Normally, I am not too crazy, but I like the veins around those big cells. I dig it. Look at that little face under the light. <laughs> he's even got a little red body or something. Oh, look at his hat. Looks like he's a little Christmas character or something. Look at that, his red body, his head, and his hat right there where the light is. <laughs> it's pretty. That came in blue, and that's looking sort of greenish in the colors, but if you look, now it's looking blue. So I dig it. But I'm digging this for a frame. I don't know what I'd color I'd do the frame, but I like it. I think it is awesome. See, I enjoy these once in a while. So, okay. So that's going to be a frame, no doubt. I have a quote. It's an awareness and positive. Kind of gets us thinking, which always helps me. I have to get motivated to think most of the time. Let me find it here. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. I just did this, set it in the camera, and I didn't have it turned back on. <laughs> I'm talking to yourself, so drives you crazy. Okay, so here we go. When we're unable to find tranquility within ourselves, it is sometimes very hard to seek it elsewhere. The mind is like water. When it's turbulent, it's difficult to see. When it's calm, everything becomes clear. And that's the truth with me. I can't seem to think straight <clears throat> when I'm full of anxiety or stress or frustrated about anything. All right, guys. Well, thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take it easy. Okay? Bye-bye now.